songs in halls of lore. Their echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. <laughs> Just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Oh. Go Welcome back to, to your Gohart. business. Go on. Oh. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy oh. whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. Oh. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade, likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fae in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days on the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Hope you stay in town. the brothers of St. Odwigs. Only when they fall to earth will they realize they are not above us. Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Goodbye. 
Enough of the oppression. Enough of the lies. Enough of the spiritual hoarding and claims of superiority. Matharu does not judge. She loves. The Fey are not our enemy. Only those who seek to poison us should be reviled. That includes the brothers of St. Odin. Oh. I thought about searching for treasure in that near... Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a Lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? I'll be here. say about these stones is true but if it is well this is just too good to not save forever lystrom was out of town when artol was visiting now lystrom doesn't know artol and artol is older and strange she could be mistaken for a fate weaver so when lystrom came back to town here was artol the oracular i said to lystrom i hear her readings are amazing you should go <laughs> my you should have seen it a rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never... May your hollow gods keep you, mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? 
I can offer only what I know and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. Farewell. Welcome to Gorehart. Behave yourself. You there. Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. I do not deserve such good will after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Far Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe.
Farewell. Mercy. What is it? You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fey and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fey. We'll be enemies. turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can. It's east of here, in the meadows of Yolvin. The Feylands are a wicked place, crawling with creatures so strange you'll assume you're dreaming. Farewell. Try the corner shop for supplies. Greetings. Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. Osgar hides somewhere in the woods north of here. Medgar was last seen east of his brother's camp. Bring me their Legion daggers, and I'll pay with coin, and a commendation to join the Order. Stay close to the village.
In the country of Nirolim's embrace, the summer manifests as an immortal fate. You know her. You know her name. In the youth of your people's memory, you bore witness to Easter. She is your legend of might and elegance. Come, listen to a tale of the God the God's Storm, the Withering War. Legs, please help me. Are oh, the two legs are cruel? They will not help. No, I am cast. You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head, but two leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch dumb meat birds. I must be changed back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them, but I cannot fight in this form. Will you help two legs? Thank you, two legs. But the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, guarded by the sprites that cursed me. Be warned, the sprites have much magic, for the well they guard is older than this wood, and from that they draw their power. The sprites guard the well, which is... Oh. Return swiftly. Oh. Oh. to tell you I am not sad when I was a girl my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone you tie your fates together 
and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not feel that way. I feel free. Proceed no farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sagral will never be occupied by one so mundane. Hallam the White prepares the contest, and he must not be interrupted at this our time of greatest need. No doubt you speak of Illuvia, impetuous fool. I told her to avoid your settlement, to avoid Odoroth altogether. She never listened to my warnings. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? Attacked, you say? Your kind is too timid to even speak to us, and now you're trying to kill us. I do not understand it. However, your honesty is appreciated. Tell the people of Gorhart that they have nothing to fear from us. We mean them no ill will, as long as they leave the forest undisturbed as they found it. It is to fill an unoccupied seat in the House of Ballads. This is not a mortal concern. If Hallam learns I told you, he may see to it that I am banned from the telling. Farewell. A mortal? Here? Listen, all of you. As you've clearly heard, a rare vacancy has occurred in the House of Battle. You made it. You're back. I was so worried that the Fae had taken out the revenge on you. As usual, I was wrong. The Fae has recovered, thanks to your potion. In fact, she wishes to stay in the village for the next several weeks as she recovers. Gorehart will be a new community, a place of compassion, and it's thanks to you. Please, take my sword and buckler. They will serve you well, as they have served me. Bye now.